All right, uh, back at the urchin. This thing has really seen better days. You thought the starfish had it rough? My goodness. Uh, so it turns out sea urchins have a very tough, it's called a test. Uh, and that's what, that's what it's called. And so it's a hard kind of outer shell to them because they don't want to get eaten. And so they're, they're kind of crunchy. And uh, I did not have a scalpel on me, so I decided to just give it a shot with the old scissors. And uh, that was pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. Like, this thing is durable as all get out. So you really got to appreciate the sea otters who can really tear into this with just their teeth. Um, like, that thing is... Nothing to laugh at. Like, I was just coming down with some force on that thing and doing nothing. Uh, so, but yeah, I got that thing ripped open. Uh, this is also a little smaller. Found no real gonads. But we did find some other stuff. It's kind of a, just a brown mess. It's kind of gross. Um, but anyway, let's look at some stuff, right? Uh, and so the first things which, let's focus on the ever-important digestive intestinal tract. Uh, it has this nice poop colored green to it because i mean why not uh so intestines that's this area the digestive parts this whole tube down here uh and so this actually will follow up and of course leave via the anus and will receive you know contents from the mouth part so underneath here one of the big things that's unique to the urchin world is the aristotle's lantern and so this is a feeding structure where like it has like kind of like these weird like teeth coming through the underside. I'll show you a picture. Or I'll show it to you in a minute. Uh, but Aristotle's lantern. And so that's this entire feeding structure down below. Sorry. So like something like this down in here. And so there's, there's some muscles wrapped around it right now. But I mean like that thing right there inside of there. The crux of that is Aristotle's lantern. So see on the other side too. So it's their feeding structure. Uh, unique to the sea urchins. So they have that. Uh, they also have a central canal or a ring canal, so it's kind of hard to see. So I'm, uh, it's, this is a toughie. Uh, it's covered in brownness, so it's kind of hard to pick out. But the region I'm pointing to, right there, it's, man, that's hard to see, um, is the central canal. And so that's a part of the water vascular system in this beast. Uh, and so, man, that's, that's insanely difficult. Uh, just, just know they have one. That's tough. It's real tough. If you see a picture of it on a test, it'll be a little clearer than this. Um, but yeah, okay. So we got central canal, intestines, Aristotle's lantern. Uh, these things have ampullae and tube feet as well. However, none really clear on the specimen. So you're good. You don't have to worry about those. Let's flip this puppy over though. Ow. Uh, and so there's those little teefies down there. That's part of the lower side of the Aristotle's lantern. So we can crack that thing open. Come on now. Look at that. Putting some force on there. Finally get that thing to open up. Uh, and so that's what's inside of there. Ah, it's like a little hat. Uh, but yeah, that's that's that. So that's our urchin, the internal anatomy. Not much to it. The sea cucumber is going to be exciting. So stay tuned for that one.